Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and Michigan State Spartans. Tonight, we really have an interesting matchup at the center position. Number 14, one of the best floor leaders in the country right now. His counterpart tonight is also a guy who likes to lead by example for his team. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. What's in store for us? The Spartans are looking to make this one go out early. What are the keys for him tonight? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Secondly, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Lastly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. He's going nowhere. Ball stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Trying to feed inside. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Oh, yeah, it's basic. The point guard takes the pass, sets the screen for his teammate. He looks at the hoop for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Looking for a good shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Step out on that screener. Jumps into the defender. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a double team waiting there. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He dials long distance. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. From right at the circle, tickles a twine. Trying to go inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Oh, what a strip, Red. They're off into transition. He got the dunk and the foul. He went through that lane on a mission, Brad. The Golden Gophers go to the line for the first time in this game. It's good. Dumps it in on the inside. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity. 
A lot of emotion. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Steele. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. They look to get it to the inside. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the mark with that shot. Minnesota are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The ball goes out of play. Just play, son, just play. Let your game do the taunting. by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. He nails the shot. Goes up for two. They still don't score. It sticks. Both teams looking to get things going here. Gave it up. Nice fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. I'll tell you what. Coach Mayer didn't like the mascot to the tryouts next year. That guy's got great jumping ability. Did you see him after the last dunk? What a high riser. This guy wants the play. Looks at a three. He gets the bucket to fall. They work the perimeter. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The center takes the feed. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. They run it up into transition. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise oh. is beginning to fade. Goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Up and inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Jumps in. Goes. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Dump it inside. Double team now, bad angle. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. 
You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. The shooting guard with the ball. From left of the circle, 10 seconds to put it up. On the dribble, gives it up. The Golden Gophers have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? The small forward gets the ball. On the outside, I think they're trying to make a statement. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. Second shot, good. is fired up right now emotionally. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Defense! 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 Gets the rejection. Defense! He drains the shot. Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Well, some ball pressure, but it's too much for him, and he lost possession. The Spartans are known for their style of play, Dick. They have that raw root strength, which they like to use to their advantage. They're the type of team who thrives from the contact. Great anticipation defensively. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They scored seven in a row. Gave it up. Turns it over. A high screen. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Teams looking to get things going here. Puts it on the floor and up. And he missed. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Frustration right there. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Way off target. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Adam fakes the shot. Strips him clean. They work it around the perimeter. They've got a player spotting up on the three. There he is, strips the ball loose. Obvious foul. And he's gonna pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think they're doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The point guard gets the pass. Hey, 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 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They'll work it around the arc. Way out on top. It's controlling the ball. The fake. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. He hammers it home. Up and inside. He unloads a three. He gets it to go. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't go with the six-man for no reason. He puts up the three ball. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. For two, perfectly executed. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Gave it up. He takes the three, sinks it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walked with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. Looking for the foul. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind, or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. He goes to the free throw line. He makes the first shot. It's his second. Misses the third. Working it around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot. This Nice little jam right there. Jam and stuff. 
A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. And the fans are going wild. It's crazy in here, Brad. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Blocks it. Way off target. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. And a momentary look from three-point land. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Goes in. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. There was no doubt about that one. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Get that sucker out of the game, man. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Pressure that basketball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ball goes out of bounds. Ten seconds to get a shot off. The power forward in the post. Tries for two. There was no doubt about that one. On the outside. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Two for one opportunity. Time to pick up the defense here now. Back they come the other way. I'd say they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores it off the glass. And the ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. He makes the shot. At the half, the Spartans trail by five. Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? Hey, when the three balls are falling, Brad, you feel like your team can do anything, baby, as we see in this long-distance bomb. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. 
Michigan State has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. I tell you what, not making mistakes, and both are doing a great job getting to the free throw line. I think that's been essential, and they're converting on a lot. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Gets the ball, and now faces his man down in the low block. Uh, very aggressive player once he got him in a tough position in the post. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects of the same. You know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. With the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. They're called for a shot clock violation. Very poor ball movement, Brad. The defense is doing a great job of keeping the ball out of scoring positions. In the paint. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Gave it up. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He fakes the shot. Rejects it. Number 50 with the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Working around the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. Buried it. The Spartans trail by nine. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Basket falls despite the contact. circle he buries it Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you what a great job on a defensive player he's winning the battle on it great block shot what an unbelievable play rotating over up and inside for three makes it Transition, try to score the other way. He attempts the trifecta. He gets the shot to fall. And one.
one too many dribbles and a steal. And again, they look to run. With a bucket. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> off the lazy pass. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Launches the bomb, gets it to go. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Kicks it out. Fakes it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Moving it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. He fires from long range. Oh, yes. That's a 9 0 run. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. For two, Minnesota are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Fake. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. On the outside. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? The defense senses a five-second call with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, a great spin move to the basket. the block. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For the bucket. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Taken away. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Nice hops. The Spartans are behind by 23. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Play results in a backcourt violation. You have to take care of the rock, baby. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the difference in scoring jumps out at me. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of his shot opportunities, and he's making the most of it. All right, thanks, Aaron. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He throws it up from downtown. Tickles the twine. On the dribble, gives it up. The Golden Gophers seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. The Spartans have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. up to make the block. Look at that spacing. He comes away with it. Here they come now on a turnover. He's got a high post flasher. They work the perimeter on the inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Gave it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Up and inside. Picked out of the air. Guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, we'll often end up with a personal foul. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. They work it around the perimeter. Looks at the three. Got it. The Spartans are down by 20. For the bucket. And he missed. Looking for a good shot. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Entry pass in the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. Can their defense get him back in the game, Dick? 
I tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called it. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. Goes up for two. He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. In the paint. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll work it around the arc. On the inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. It's the replay, please. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Jumps into the defender, sinks it. If you watch it again, it's even better. And he'll kick it back outside. He puts it up. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. off looking to move it around the perimeter from left of the circle he buries the shot in the paint that spin move not successful dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Die. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. It's over, Brad. I'm no math major, but even I can figure this one out. I post screen. Gonna use it? The Spartans have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Controlling the ball. Stolen. They get out on the break. On the inside. For two. Easy one. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. What's even more important, they'll have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Yeah. 
Intercepted. Here they go into the break. Stop and pop. Great shot. There's the trap. Tries for two. There's a high screen. In the paint. He fires it up. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Adam in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Steals a pass. Puts up the tray. The Spartans have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Cross court. Defense giving some room. The Spartans have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in. Contact causes the shot to come off. Looking for contact. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Takes away the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Got the high pick. Now the kick out. Picked out of the air. He gets it to go. With plays like that, you need instant replay. Dick, we know the TV business. You've got to have marquee matchups, but it's still about team basketball. Well, I think it played out fairly well, but it's all within the realm of the team. The one thing I like about the Stars, they're playing as a unit with their teammates. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Michigan State is whipped with authority by this huge blowout loss. It seems they came in overconfident and ended up paying a price for it. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.